this is a tough movie, big book. <laughs> Yours is massive, yeah. This is, massive. The, this, is the, this is the book. Had you read the book before you did the movie? Yes. Did you read it? Yes, but, but I read Korean version of the book. Okay. So did yeah. I, I read the <laughs> Korean version. <laughs> yes. But you were familiar with Cloud Atlas before yeah. the movie? I mean, no, I, I was familiar with the book. I, I mean, I knew about the book. I hadn't read the book before I got the screenplay. So the screenplay was really the first time I read what was happening in the, you know, I read the book after I'd read the script and had agreed to do the film. You know. Okay. So you had to learn not only better English, but Spanish? I know. <laughs> Yes, I spoke Spanish as a Mexican woman, mm -hmm. yeah, and it was tough. <laughs> I, I memorized whole lines, just, I've never spoken any Spanish before, so. Well, I had no idea. <laughs> it was very good. Thank you. You two together, I really like you two together in Cloud Atlas. Uh, I really felt I was able to relate and understand your stories the most. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Tell me about how you see your story with Dune. Yeah, but it's a really kind of heartbreaking love story, really, amongst all this other stuff that's kind of going on. It really is a really difficult and problematic and exciting kind of revelation of love, you know, Duna's character is experiencing love for the very first time and my character who has a very kind of military focus you know suddenly finds himself falling in love while he's you know trying to sort of see this sort of military operation I guess in a way kind of through you know I don't think he expected that to happen at all once he started to you know um, rescue her from Papa Song's restaurant you know so you know, already it's just set up as a really heartbreaking and beautiful kind of scenario. You know. But of course, those weren't the only characters. No. That's what's the mind-bending thing here. You played six different characters. You were four or five different characters. Did you recognize yourself? <laughs> <laughs> At times, no, you know. Certainly in the makeup test where they're trying lots of different stuff, you know, you found yourself with sort of <laughs> fake noses and giant ears and what, you know, and all the, the eyes. And the eyes, you know, we had to play around a lot, a lot with that to try and see if we could get that right. You know, it was just, it was really fun. It was a really fun process to kind of go through just to see yourself transform like that. Did you like looking different? Yeah, I loved it. I loved looking different and, um, the, I wear the fat suit for the Mexican woman, and it took f five or six hours to put the prosthetics on my f all over the face, and it was amazing. I loved it, and I I'm I'm, quite, I'm kind of sick of my face. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was great experience. What about recognizing the other actors? Were there times where you didn't know? Who Jim was, or you didn't know who Tom was, or yeah, it was weird for me because I did a lot of stuff with with Tom, and he had quite a big makeup job. <laughs> he had a bigger makeup job to do than me when I was playing Adam Ewing, so I rarely ever saw Tom as Tom. You know, I would come into the makeup room and he would already be getting it put on, and then we'd do a whole day and he'd be dressed as Doctor Goose with a big ginger beard and crazy teeth, and you know, so I just got so used to seeing Tom like that. And it was pretty rare throughout the whole four months that I actually saw Tom as Tom Hanks, you know. And because then I'd, you know, when the day was done, he was getting it all taken off and then I would leave before it was all finished. So Tom Hanks to me was a big, sweaty, ginger doctor for most of the time. Well, and he and he worked it. I mean, he... he yeah, he, he was had having fun, I think, yeah. I think, well, and it sounds like everyone was having fun, but yet you, you were working with three different directors. Mm. Now, how was that as an actor? But, you know, I mean... I, one is tough enough, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But we had two units, so um, we yeah, worked we... with the Lon and Andy and Tom separately. So it was not so 
Yeah, it was you kind of jumped around. I mean, most mm -hmm. of my stuff and Duna too, I think, we've, was most 98% of it was with the Wachowskis, mm -hmm. with Andy and Lana. So that was really our kind of base. And then we'd go and visit the other set and <laughs> visit. dress up in a crazy outfit and, <laughs> you know, play for the day and then that was it. Really, you know. So what was it like working with the Wachowskis? Yeah, they're amazing, aren't they? They're amazing. They're genius. Yeah, yeah I think, think so. You know, it's yeah. pretty rare that you get two such incredible, I and mean, they're such different personalities as people, you know, but they're so united as a sort of directing idea, you know, and their sort of creativity. I and mean, I think they've been playing together and coming up with stories you know, their whole lives as kids. Mm. So they're just so kind of unified together. Um, but they're also like, they really embrace the idea of sort of film being a really sociable art form, I think. You know, it's, you know, they, re they like to throw parties and show bits of the film to, mm. to the whole crew and, you know, keep everybody's morale. And, you know, they're aware that it's a whole big unit of people. So we had a really good time. You know, I didn't want it to end, to be honest. I mm. really didn't. Well, it, the, the way life continues, it won't end. I mean, that's kind of the story of Cloud Atlas. <laughs> Everything is continuing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Is that, did you like the philosophical answers that you kind of get from Cloud Atlas? The idea that, you know, one thing is going to affect a million different things, even on the other side of the world. I mean, philosophically, how did you, how do you see Cloud Atlas? Um. Yeah, I mean, just that, isn't it? It's just, uh, you know, it has big ideas in the film about all kinds of things, you know, not just the sort of afterlife, but it has big ideas about love and hatred and oppression and uh, corporate corruption and science and religion. And, you know, it has it is such a giant sort of scope of ideas sort of all thrown into these crazy stories that all kind of inter interconnect. So there's, you know, there's loads to kind of take from it and think about. Is it going to be boring just to go back and play one plain person? Yeah. Uh, in your next movie? Maybe. <laughs> I have it contractually now that I play three or four different characters in every film. Well, you are beautiful to look at, and I loved watching your performances. Oh, thank and you. I didn't always recognize you, and of course, Jim, seriously. No, I, I mean, I was, thank goodness for the ending, where you get to see who plays who, because otherwise <laughs> right, right. you have no idea, but well done.